What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus package update, stimulus check update, daily news, everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., money, investing, the stock market, everything you need to know about on a daily basis. If you're new to our YouTube channel, make sure to click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on new videos that come out here on our YouTube channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. It really helps out our channel. Another state introduces more stimulus measures that could put over $1,000 in your pocket. We're going to go over that in this video as well as what's going on with our country which is absolutely going crazy right now with new virus cases. We got a lot to talk about as well as new stimulus measures that are trying to be introduced. Let's jump right in. Here we go. The world hits a new record number of virus cases as well in the week and for a single day here. Remember, that's not just the U.S. A lot of people seem to forget that. They think it's just the U.S. They think it's just Biden or they, they think it's just former President Trump. They think it's just the Republicans. They think it's just the Democrats. They think it's just the U.S. trying to control the people. I always uh, you know, see comments like that or people thinking like that. Um, but the entire world just broke the record for the uh, number of cases, and we have the and we have the U.S. new virus cases have broke the old record of 300,000 cases. We have broke that new record two days here in a row. In fact, our seven-day average here is more than 265,000. So the seven-day average is actually nearing the old one-day record of 300,000 new cases per day. Um, so remember, the 300,000 new cases per day record was on January 8th. We only hit that one time ever. We just broke that record two days in a row. So yesterday, we had 380,000 new cases, 380,751. Um, yeah, a tremendous amount of new cases. And the day before, 543,000 new cases. An absolute, just earth-shattering amount of new cases here with this new Omicron variant. Yeah, you can see the seven-day average of 266,000 new cases and just going up per day. You can see this huge spike, this huge graph just going up. And yesterday's death count at 2,494, so almost 2,500 deaths just yesterday. And again, just to put that into perspective, that is actually more people than passed in Pearl Harbor just yesterday in one day alone, just to put that into perspective. So it, it's, it's still a very, very sad situation. And... Um, it's getting worse. It's it's getting worse because we're in the thick of things and cases are going up right now. Now, President Biden said here today that there might be domestic travel vaccine mandates coming here soon. First, I'll let you hear what Dr. Fauci said here. Um, this was this is what he had to say. Right now, we feel that the masking requirement and the degree of filtration on a plane is sufficient to keep people safe. However, as is very clearly the case for domestic travelers, as I mentioned, we want to keep them safe. But we believe that the requirement achieves that goal. If there's a need to do more beyond this masking, namely having a vaccine issue, we will seriously consider that as new information arises. So it's just keeping an open mind that the situation may change, but at this particular time, we do not feel that is necessary to make that a requirement for domestic flights. Now, however, President Biden said if his medical team advises it, he will issue domestic travel vaccine requirements. Check this out. President Biden said Tuesday that he would impose a mandate that Americans be vaccinated against COVID to travel domestically here in the U.S. if his medical team recommends it. 
When asked when he would make a decision on domestic travel vaccine requirements while out for a walk on Reboth Beach, Delaware, Biden told reporters, when I get a recommendation from the med- medical team, that he would implement this. Wow. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think you should have to be required to have a vaccine to, say, get on an airplane? You know, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Very, very interesting. Do you think we will see that here in the future? We do have multiple different states that already require this to, say, go to a restaurant or go to a gym. And do you think we will see this in the future um, for airplanes? Also, check this out. As of today, Washington, D.C. says that they're going to require a negative test for all students and staffers returning to the classroom. Yeah, Washington, D.C. has announced new virus regulations for students and staff returning to school after the holiday season. Mayor Muriel Bowser, a Democrat, and D.C. Public Schools Chancellor Louis Faribi announced on Wednesday that to ensure safety amid the ongoing virus surge, DCPS will require all students and staff to provide proof of a negative virus test before they return to school on January 5th, and that they will make free rapid antigen tests available on Monday, January 3rd, and January 4th. Paris, parents must upload their chi- child's negative test results online by 4 p.m. on January 4th, officials said they can upload either a photo or PDF along with their contact information. Let me know your thoughts on this. I hope they can get the test because I know several people around here have been trying to get tests. Uh, I see some of my friends on Facebook cannot even get tests around here. They're literally trying to call places Uh, One of my friends called 25 different places in my area and couldn't even find tests. They're not even for sale. They're just literally sold out everywhere. And when you do, or if you can find them, they're like $20 to $30 for a single box. (laughs) Yeah, so if you have a family of five, you're looking at $100 plus just to get tests. Yeah, so it'll be nice when um, when the Biden administration, the White House, uh, gets these 500, let me see here, 500 million tests out to the people for free. That's half a billion with a B. They're going to distribute these to the people for free because that will literally save people hundreds of dollars. Um, they're going to be setting up a website for free that you can claim these and have them shipped to you for free. Um, I assume shipping is free. They're setting this up right now. Um, I think they're going to need a lot more. I think, because remember, there's 330 million plus people here in the U.S. That's not even more than one per person. That's not even two per people, two per person. So they're going to need more. I hope that even like school systems like Washington, D.C. can get enough for their schools uh, in the next five days here. Good luck. Uh, f- fingers crossed, uh, because I know like if you want to go and get five of them around here, you could call five stores and they don't have any. <laughs> Let me know around where you are. I mean, I've even seen comments here that people have called five stores and they can't get any. It's just it's, it's absolutely crazy right now. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, and this really just highlights how bad it is and how much more stimulus is needed, stimulus checks are needed, stimulus for the economy is needed, and people are going to need help here. Restaurants are going to need help, the economy is going to need help, the travel sector is going to need help, and so many people are affected. Think about how many people right now are going into quarantine and are not able to work and are not able to get a paycheck. Think about that provision from the Build Back Better package of paid family and medical leave, where the government would uh, pay your paycheck if you got sick and had an illness. Imagine if that was passed right now, and um, if you were on quarantine, the government would pay for your paid sick time, okay? So if you get sick, and if you don't work at a company that has paid family leave, if you don't work at a company that offers that, 
um, the government would step in and pay your paycheck. Okay, so imagine if that was passed. That's one of the provisions of the Build Back Better package. Okay, imagine if they had that passed already. It's just one of the provisions from the Build Back Better package that they're trying to pass. Imagine how many people, thousands or millions of people right now. I mean, just think about this. We had 543,000 people two days ago. And what was this yesterday here? We had 380,000 people yesterday. That's, I mean, we're nearing a million people here that tested positive just in two days. And that's not even the people that didn't go. It doesn't even include the people that didn't go and get tested, the people that couldn't go get a test and actually test. That doesn't include the people that took an at-home test and the government doesn't know about it. Those are only people that went to a, an official testing site and report to the government. So there's probably over a million people that have tested positive here just in two days and now have to quarantine and can't go to work and get a paycheck. So think about all those people that need assistance right now. That's exactly what stimulus provides. That's exactly what that one provision from the Build Back Better package would provide. Paid family medical leave. We're the, uh, we are the only first world country to not offer that, by the way. Okay, by the way, another state here um, announces, you can see here, Connecticut shifting millions of dollars in COVID relief into tax credits for lower income families. And this could mean over $1,000 for some families going directly into their pockets. Yeah, really good news here. Another state stepping up to help out their residents. Check this out. Okay, Connecticut will soon provide an extra boost in state income tax credits to nearly 200,000 low to moderate income families using federal stimulus relief funds. Governor Ned Lamont's office said in an announcement Wednesday today that the extra tax refunds using stimulus money, which will be given to families that already benefit from the state's earned income tax credit program, also known as the Adult Tax Credit Program, will give economic, this is coming on the state level, will give economic support to those, quote, disproportionately burdened by the pandemic and its negative economic impacts. Very, very cool. We want to continue to see more and more states do this, and I will keep you updated as more and more states announce this. The Connecticut Department of Revenue Service will act ret retroactively to boost its 2020 tax credit from 23% of the federal credit to 41.5% retroactively. How cool is that? I don't know how they're going to do it, but uh, they're, they're doing it. The boost will apply to all households that earned up to $56,844 in 2020 and filed for the year's earned income tax credit. Quote, enhancing the 2020 Connecticut Earned Income Tax Credit provides direct relief to workers doing their best to provide for their families while confronting pandemic-related costs from masks and tests to childcare and internet access, Governor Lamont said in an announcement. The $75 million bill for the credit will boost Credit boost will be funded by the remainder of Connecticut's $1.38 billion uh, virus relief money. The state also used the relief funds to buy PPE and to boost virus testing access and provide financial support to schools, small businesses, hospitals, and other bodies affected by the pandemic. The state revenue department the plans to send the relief checks to eligible recipients before the end of February. So January is two days away, so maybe they're going to start sending these out in January and in February. The amount of each household's payment will ultimately depend on the size of their federal tax credit, which the IRS calculates based on taxpayers' income, marital status, and number of qualifying children. A single parent of two, for example, whose income meets the federal poverty level and receives a $1,246 state credit in the spring will now receive an additional $1,002, according to Lamont's office. 
I mean, so yeah, it's just it's just literally going to be an extra check sent out to people from Connecticut. Really, really awesome. Again, it's going to depend on all oh, your tax return and each person's going to be different, but that's the example they gave there, an extra thousand dollars. Really, really cool. The Connecticut Earned Income Tax Credit was created in 2011, and it has had varying rates over the last decade. And the governor, who's a Democrat, was criticized by Republicans for deciding to send his own, to send out checks to people who already benefit from the earned income tax credit expansion that was included in the last state budget. So even when you get a, a governor sending out extra state checks, what happens? He gets criticized. I... I you, you can't win, right? You get states that are sending out these extra stimulus checks and extra relief. And what happens? They get criticized for doing it. Yeah. So, you, you know, that's why <laughs> you, you you really can't please everybody, right? So if you're a Democratic governor, you send out stimulus checks or whatever they want to call them, extra tax credits. Remember that a stimulus check is actually the official name of it is a tax credit, right? Uh, when you actually get a stimulus check from the government, the actual federal stimulus checks, the last $1,400 stimulus checks, it's actually an advanced refundable tax credit. Even if you don't file taxes, even if you're a non-filer, it's still a tax credit, even if you're a non-filer. Uh, if you've been watching my show, you know that. Um, <laughs> but you can't win all these battles, right? Even when you send out stimulus checks, uh, people, people blame it on... Blame inflation on it. Guess what? Inflation's going on across all the world right now. China has a 30% inflation on their vegetables. Okay? Inflation is going on all across the world right now. Whether or not each country is sent, on, sent out stimulus checks or not, uh, like does China's 30% inflation on their vegetables have to do with the stimulus checks that have been sent out here in the U.S.? I, you know, that's you really can't win. Pick you can't win all these battles, right? If anything, sending money directly to the people and giving them money right now to help them combat inflation is the best way to combat inflation. If people are struggling right now to put food on their table to keep a roof over their heads, what's the best way to combat inflation? I mean, if people are starving, ready to lose their homes. That's the best way to combat anything, right? I mean, you tell me. Leave, leave me a comment. I mean, we have tens, of, hundreds of thousands of people that watch this show every single day. Please comment down below. Let people know. Or is, or is, a, is a better route to not help the people and uh, let them fend for themselves and say, oh, just deal with inflation on your own. <laughs> Please let, let me know. Also, you see my little friend, uh, Baby Yoda here. You know, he was in the back over there for a little bit, taking a little bit of a back seat. Well, he's back. Well, I don't know if he's fully back, but, um, you know, he's from the show The Mandalorian on Disney. Well, Disney has a new Star Wars show starting today, tonight. As you can see here, uh, it's actually out on Disney+. Plus. You can watch it now if you have Disney+. Plus. It's called The Book of Boba Fett. And it premieres today. In fact, uh, my mom told me it's already out. So you can go watch it after this video if you want to. Uh, the Book of Boba Fett will premiere today on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if Baby Yoda is going to be in there or not. Um, but it's definitely something I'm going to be watching here tonight. So, yeah, if you've seen it, uh, no spoilers in the comments. Don't leave any spoilers for anybody. Uh, but I'll definitely be watching it tonight, and I'll see if Baby Yoda makes an appearance or who might make a special appearance. So, yeah, Baby Yoda's here with his special holiday outfit on, and uh, we'll have to see if maybe he makes a special appearance, or maybe I should say Grogu makes a special appearance but happy holidays to you happy early new year and uh, i'll keep you up to date with everything going on here in uh, the future stimulus stimulus provisions executive orders student loan forgiveness child tax credits everything they're talking about passing here potentially in the new year so make sure to subscribe down below it's completely free to do so all you need to do is click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos here on our youtube channel which come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can click here to watch my newest video next, and you can click here to get government assistance, which is already passed, 
You can get 12 months of your rent paid in rent assistance. You can get up to $80,000 in homeowners assistance for homeowners and $1,500 in utility assistance, and it's available right now. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.